Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lead code problem number 451, sort characters by frequency. So we are given a string S and we need to sort it in a decreasing order based on the frequency of each character, which means that the frequency of the character which is the highest should appear first and then the other characters. So for example, we are given this string here now we know uh, the number of characters here are three uh, the first character is t the second is r and the third character is e right t has a frequency of one r has a frequency of one as well and e has a frequency of two here so decreasing order means um you store sort such that uh, highest comes first and then uh, lowest is at the end since one and one are equal so any of them can appear uh, any at any position so uh, basically two uh, is associated with e uh, one it could be associated with t or r uh, let's just choose the value t and the next one is associated with r so basically since e has the highest frequency the resulting string should have e first so we will have the number of e's which is equals to the number of frequencies of the uh, character and then one t and then one r so this will be our result now how are we going to solve this well basically we need to keep track of the frequency so we need a map here we need a map or a dictionary to store our frequencies once we have all the frequencies we need to sort the frequencies so sort the frequencies and okay sort our frequencies and then once we have sorted um sorted our characters based on frequencies so sort based on frequencies now once we have sorted based on frequency then we are gonna join up we are gonna um, create our new string so create our new string so let's uh, get started with our code so first of all we need a map I'm gonna solve this in a very basic way it's not a one liner two liner or three liners rather I would solve this um, using um, very um, simple method so that anyone could understand it so let's get started so we need an a dictionary of map so let um, new map I'm gonna create a map and then um, store the frequencies so a late character of s and then map dot set so in the map I'm gonna set the frequency of the character so if the map already exists I'm gonna get uh, the character from the the frequency from the map if not then the value initial value will be zero and i'm gonna add one to the value so i'm adding one either to the value that i get from the map uh, for the character which already exists if not then the value will be zero and we set incremented by one now once we have a map we are going to sort the frequencies so um, first of all, what we are going to do is we are going to convert the map into an array. So that will be easier for us to um, to do the sorting uh, because as you could see like here um, relations with array objects. So we could convert map into an array. So this is an array. We could convert an array to a map as well. And then we could convert a map to an array using this uh, simple structure, uh, the three dot operators, spread operators. So um, we are going to get our map and now we are going to sort our array in a descending order. So A, B, sort based on 
the frequencies the frequencies will be in the second index right because um how is our error gonna look is that um so suppose we have a map where a has a value one b has a value two okay so suppose this is a map this is our map so what our array will look like is uh, we'll have an array with the value a1 and the second value will be b2 so this is how our array will look like so basically each element in an array is also an array and the uh, first element of that um, of this is a ca the character and the second element is the frequency so we actually uh, need to sort based on the frequency so that's what we are doing we are taking the uh, va value at the um, at the at index one and then once we sort our array well um, now we need to create our string right so what are we going to do is let str which is our resulting string will be equals to so we are going to use map operator here and then uh, each element is an array so right the first one is the character and the second one is our frequency so that is why we are going to use uh, something like this and then we are going to return our character uh, which is repeated the number of times uh, equals to its frequency and then finally we are going to join so each of the characters repeated are joined and then it forms a string and then we return our string string here now let's run our code and see if everything works well okay so Mm. so basically the join operator here is not working and right so in javascript well basically we need to join um join and the delimiter should be um should be on like should not be anything right it should not be any character or comma if we just do this thing then the delimiter would be comma so that was why we were getting a comma there uh, and since we are only using this um to um insertion um so by using this we are just joining the string together without any delimiters here and one thing also is that we could just remove this whole thing then in this way actually map will itself return uh, this the value if we do not use the curly braces here now let's try to run it again and then submit it so the talking about the time complexity here um, we have a for loop over each of the character and then again we sort our array um so basically the total number of characters in the string uh could be like the string could be of length and right so this will be uh, big o of n time complexity and then uh, a map will only be of maximum length 26 right because there are only 26 maximum characters that um that um that's in english alphabet 26 max character right so our sort will only take place in constant time complexity because the number of characters is constant and then also this operation will also be constant so um our um space complexity is also constant because uh, the map size of map and size of arrays constant so our time complexity is big o of n and space complexity is o of 1 here 